Nancy Pelosi, this this is a hoot, a couple days ago issued a statement on um, Obamacare. And I'm going to read the statement because I, I'm going to have a hard time getting through this with a straight face because this is what she said. She wanted to – it was supposedly a 4th of July statement on the Founding Fathers. So – and I'm going to read it exactly. When we celebrate Independence Day, we'll also be observing health independence. This week marks one year since the Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act. It captures the spirit of our founders, the spirit they wrote in the Declaration of Independence, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Affordable Care Act offers just that, a healthier life, liberty, and to pursue a person's happiness. It's also 100 days until the beginning of implementation of the Affordable Care Act. So we're very excited about what lies ahead for us. If you want me to, I'll go into whatever, all the things that are already in effect to give life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, I added the Soviet theme. I, I, that was an actual clip of the, the Soviet national anthem. The, um, the, 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 I thought it was appropriate. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get away with doing the Nazi theme music because I think that's banned in a lot of countries. So that's why I use it. You know, Obamacare is not communism, despite what people say. It's not. It's fascism. And communism would be if they just suddenly decided to provide health care for everybody and then tax the hell out of you to do it. Fascism, or Nazism is an aversion of fascism, is when private enterprise is seized by government and told what to do on how to run their business. So it's probably more appropriate for the Nazi, but I think the Soviet theme is funnier, don't you? You know, because we all, you know, you hear that.